Hello there, Steve Schneeberger with Keller Williams again. Welcome to the sixth of the seven video series on the Richfield Point of Sale Inspection. We're today we're going to talk about the well sealing and well records. Now, this is not part of the Richfield Point of Sale Inspection. However, all of our houses in Richfield, I'd say almost all, were built in the 40s and 50s, and they had individual wells serving their homes. The way you can see where your well may have been located in your particular home, usually it's under the front stoop or the side stoop. There's um, a little cavity that's a cinder block that probably sits directly beneath your step. And in that cavity was where all the well pumps and, and tanks and, and electrical connections were housed. Likely you don't have any of those tanks left in that section there, but you may have a little pipe that's been cut off near the base of the, the foundation, and that's all that remains of your well. Now, that's good, but that does not necessarily mean that your well was sealed to current Minnesota code. The way you would find out if it was sealed properly was to go to the Department of Health and ask them to give you your well sealing record and or a well disclosure certificate. Now, you'd think you could go onto the Department of Health website and just type in your home address and boom, up pops your, your documents. It, it, unfortunately, that's not the case. For some reason, it just doesn't work that way with the website at the Department of Health. So what I, I do for my clients is I have a direct connection to the lady that works there. And I just I say, can you give me the well records for this address? And she'll send them to me usually within the day. So if you are curious about your particular situation with your well, feel free to click on the on the box here in the video. And I'm happy to, to get those records for you. The, um, the wells are basically... <clears throat> handled this way. First of all, Richfield doesn't monitor wells. They don't have records of the wells. They don't check for them. They don't really do anything with them. So they are not the people to call if you have well questions. Again, most of the wells have been sealed. Now, if you are a, one of the rare, rare, rare cases where you still have a well that's working, and I, it's been many years since I've seen one, you don't have to, to seal it. Um, but inactive wells do need to be sealed and properly filed with the State Department of Health. This is a copy of a well sealing record. This is the form that they use at the top right hand corner. There's a well sealing number, 122361 in this case. There's a little bit of a, there's a little map right below the home address on the top left hand side. And then down at the bottom is, um, where, whoops, uh, where the contractors who did the, the work are listed down here at the very bottom, and then the date that it was sealed. And this is a proper well sealing record, and this is what you're going to need to be able to show that your well was properly done. The other thing that can sometimes be a substitute for the well sealing and, and, and an example where this might come into play, and this is relatively uncommon, but let's just say your house, had, you'd done a major remodel on your house and you maybe walled off the area that that, that little cove is in where the well pipe is, or just you've done something to the home. There's been some extensive remodeling where it's really almost impossible to get to that area. In such cases, you might be able to do a well disclosure certificate that just says, um, that you're disclosing there was a well there, you just don't know the status of it. Uh, this can also accompany a well sealing record as well. Um, if you do have to get your well sealed, there are a couple of companies out in the marketplace that still do quite a bit of that work. The one that I refer people to is Stadola, and that's S-T-O-D-O-L-A, well drilling. They've capped a number of wells for my clients, and they do a good job, and it's pretty reasonable. I would say you're looking at maybe rough, roughly $1,200 plus or minus to cap the well. So step number one, find out if you have a well sealing record on file. Step number two, if you don't, then you may want to get the well company out there to do the sealing and like Stadola or any other well company out there, they're going to do the paper 
<clears throat> the paperwork that will suffice for the Department of Health. So that's my little spiel on well disclosures.